I want you to introduce America, uh, for those people who haven't heard it yet, to uh, something that we talked about on one occasion uh, some time ago, uh, rhyming slang. Rhyming slang. Remember when well, you asked me if mm, I knew how the raspberry got its name? Well, yes, yes. Well, that's a vulgar one, so we won't go into that. Well, rhyming slang really goes back to almost to nearly to Elizabethan days. It goes back very, very early. It's a, it's a jargon used by traders so they can communicate with each other without the customer understanding. Now, for example, to give you some example, rhyming slang, stairs, one of the most famous is stairs. You don't say stairs, you say apples and pears. You do? Yes, apples and pears. And then with the usage, the rhyme gets lost. Uh, going up to bed, Uncle Ned. The wife is called the trouble and strife. Sister is skin and blister. So that going up the apples and pears... Going up the apples, you say. Oh, you don't you do the whole thing? You, no, usage is such that the rhyme gets left but off. But if I said going up the apples and pears to see my skin and blister would be going up the stairs to see, see my, my sister. And what merchants would you use this so that customers would not know what they were talking about? Yeah, that was the, uh, that was the uh, origin of it way back. And, uh, oh, there are many examples, you know. I suppose, that's the nose. Mince pies are the eyes. North and south, the mouth and uh, German bands. I had an actress once say to me in London, she said, um, half a cock while I lemon my Germans, would you? I beg your pardon? <laughs> she said, half a cock while I lemon my Germans. She wanted to go to the toilet. Which in polite English is, I'm going to wash my hands. Half a cock linnet, that's minute, while I lemon squash, which is wash my hands, which are German bands. In those days, in Victorian times, I had these little German bands on street corners, you know, with a man with a hat. Is this like. used anymore in, uh, in England? Oh, all the time, yes. You're kidding me. Yes. Uh, I remember walking on the set one day and the chief electrician said to me, Hi, Governor, nice pair of almonds you've got on. Nice pair of which? Almonds. Well, there's a sweet meat in England called Almond Rock. It's just a lot of almonds in, in candy, you know, all stuck together. But almond rock, it's for socks. <laughs> <laughs> you say to me, nice pair of socks you've got on. Nice pair of almond Boots, rocks. daisy roots, you know. And uh, one day another actor said to me after our first child was born, he said, how's the Godfather? How's the which? Godfather. So I didn't know what he said. So I said, oh, uh, yes, all right. So later on, I said to someone, what does he mean, how's the God? Well, he's saying, how is your child? How is the God forbid? Which is rhyming slang for kid. <laughs> how's your kid? But he only said God for. He didn't even say God forbid. Oh, they lose the rhyme. Everybody lose, understands it uses, so well. You know, they know, they know it so well, they don't have to. Oh, it would be kind of a... Uh, amateurish, it's corny just to use the whole rhyme. Well, then we can let the whole country spend all night wondering uh, how the raspberries really got its name. Now, we, we will not tell, because it would be corny to give the rhyme, wouldn't it? No, yeah, no raspberry is, uh, uh, is raspberry tart, that's all. Yes, sir. The uh, Tomorrow program will continue after this announcement with our guest this time, Mr. Alfred Hitchcock. And you just think about that for a while, and it will all be coming through.